How to beat a window tint ticket. Most states have laws that govern how dark you can tint the windows on your car. Some also place limitations on the type of tint used, and where or how the tint can be placed. If your windows are tinted darker than allowed by state law, you may get pulled over and cited for a window tint violation. If you know your tint is in violation of the law, the easiest way to get out of the ticket is to remove your tint. You can plead not guilty and fight the ticket if your tint is actually in compliance with state law, although this may end up costing more than it's worth. Fixing the problem. Consult a traffic law attorney. In most states, if you fix the problem for which you got the ticket, the judge will dismiss the ticket. However, you may want to talk to an attorney near you who specializes in traffic violations to make sure this will happen in your case. Reference to, greater than search online for your state's bar association. Most have online referral services that will match you with licensed attorneys in your area who take cases like yours. Most traffic attorneys offer a free initial consultation, so you should be able to find out the information you need without having to pay any legal fees. If you do have to pay for the initial consultation, it will typically be around $30 to $50. Photograph your car after the tint is removed. If you want to remove the tint on your own and don't care about having it replaced, photos can be used in court to prove to the judge that you removed it. Get your whole car in the frame, and try to get your license tag in at least one photo. This shows that the car in the photo is the one that was pulled over. If you want to make close-ups, do those in addition to the photos showing the whole car. Print your photos after you've taken them so you can submit them to the court as evidence. Most judges won't accept digital photos on a camera or phone. Your prints don't have to be large, but should be big enough that necessary details such as your license plate number can be seen clearly and easily. Take your car to a tint shop. If you still want tinted windows, you may want to have a tint specialist remove the old tint and replace it with tint that meets the legal requirements in your state. Legitimate tint shops typically don't stock tint that is illegal in your state. If you talk to a tint specialist, they can evaluate your car and recommend how to best fix the problem that will still meet your basic needs. Li. Most tint shops have a card that can be pressed against the inside of the window. If you can read the text on the card through the window, the tint meets legal requirements. Hold the card up to each window and take a photo. Legitimate tint shops typically don't stock tint that is illegal in your state. If you talk to a tint specialist, they can evaluate your car and recommend how to best fix the problem that will still meet your basic needs. Most tint shops have a card that can be pressed against the inside of the window. If you can read the text on the card through the window, the tint meets legal requirements. Hold the card up to each window and take a photo. Save your receipt from the tint shop. If you get your tint removed or replaced by a tint specialist, the receipt serves as proof that you fixed the problem. It also shows the judge when you completed the transaction. Make a couple of copies of the receipt so you can distribute them, if a hearing is necessary. Make a couple of copies of the receipt so you can distribute them, if a hearing is necessary. Complete an affidavit if required. Some states only dismiss, fix it, tickets if you remedy the problem within a short period of time after you got the ticket. The affidavit provides the judge with proof that you fixed your tint within the specified time frame. Your state or county may have a form to use for this affidavit. Generally, the affidavit should include a statement that the person removed the tint from your windows, or inspected your car after the tint was removed and found that it was in compliance with the law. This affidavit must be completed by the mechanic or tint specialist who removed your tint. If you removed your tint on your own, take it to the police station and get an officer to inspect it and fill out an affidavit for you. Your state or county may have a form to use for this affidavit. Generally, the affidavit should include a statement that the person removed the tint from your windows, or inspected your car after the tint was removed and found that it was in compliance with the law. This affidavit must be completed by the mechanic or tint specialist who removed your tint. If you removed your tint on your own, take it to the police station and get an officer to inspect it and fill out an affidavit for you. Submit your documentation to the court. In many courts, you can have a window tint ticket dismissed by submitting proof that you fixed your tint by the deadline stated on the ticket. Check your ticket for instructions on how to submit this information. If you're trying to beat the ticket this way, get your tint fixed as soon as possible. If you don't submit proof before the deadline listed on your ticket, you may still have to pay the fine. 
The deadline typically will be fewer than 30 days, but may be as short as two weeks. If you're trying to beat the ticket this way, get your tint fixed as soon as possible. If you don't submit proof before the deadline listed on your ticket, you may still have to pay the fine. The deadline typically will be fewer than 30 days, but may be as short as two weeks. Attend your hearing if required. Some states require you to present your proof in traffic court. Traffic court typically is held in the evening, and many people are there to respond to citations. When your name is called, move to the front of the courtroom and present your documentation. If you have sufficient proof that your window tint was either removed, or replaced with tint that complies with the state's law, your ticket will be dismissed. You may have to pay a small fee, typically under $100, to cover time and court costs. If you have sufficient proof that your window tint was either removed, or replaced with tint that complies with the state's law, your ticket will be dismissed. You may have to pay a small fee, typically under $100, to cover time and court costs.